What is up YouTube, DJK coming at you with another video. In this video, we're just going to be taking a closer look at the Newmark NS6 DJ controller. I do like this strip search on her. This is really nice. You can scan through your different parts of the song. You can get to different parts of the song really, really fast. That is pretty cool. The loop section is pretty much, you know, standard like any other controller. I don't like using the loop section at all. I'm more of an old school DJ. Just play the music and mix it in you know what i mean i don't care about all the looping and all that stuff i do like the uh the cue points on here where you can you know get your you know cue your track up in different sections or whatever that's pretty nice of course the jog reels are the best jog reels created so far for a dj controller in my opinion they are the best uh jog wheels out there this this newmark ns6 was built really nice i mean it's real sturdy it's it's pretty much a steel it's pretty much steel it's not plastic like the the tractor control that's for i'm telling y'all the jog wheels are killing the tractor control s4 jog wheels i got my s4 right there my broke s4 <laughs> but anyway yeah i mean this thing is nice man only downside I don't I say I don't like the software that much, but it's decent, it's usable, you can still DJ parties, you can rock a club with the Serato Ish software. It's not nothing bad about it, it's just not better than Track the Scratch Pro. I'm just being real. Also, the Newmark NS6 does not allow you to uh use your time code vinyl. Like if you got Serato Scratch Live, you cannot use Serato Scratch Live with the with the uh, Newmark NS6. That's one good point that the Tractor S4 does have, which they have the Scratch Upgrade Kit with the Tractor Control S4 that allows you to use control vinyl. But this thing here is strictly a DJ controller, and that's it. They didn't make it to where it'll work with control vinyl. They're, basically, they could. I'm sure they could if they really wanted to. All they got to do is just create a software that'll work, you know, that'll allow control vinyl to work. But... Basically, if you want to use control vinyl, you want to use your Serato. Look at my Serato, my turntable over there. If you want to use Serato control vinyl with this, you got to use this as a standalone DJ mixer and use your SL1, 2, 3, or 4 in order to do that. But this thing is pretty nice. I like it. I will be used, doing more videos using it. Like I said, the jog wheels are really excellent. They're nice. They're real nice. I mean, you can spin it like a record but of course it does not have a motor but they sound pretty good man even the scratching the scratching sounds a little digital i will say that i, I had a little digital sound when i was scratching with it versus using vinyl versus using control vinyl there is a difference to me with the quality of the scratch but it's decent it's a decent uh a decent mixer also this unit can be used as a standalone sound card which i really like that that's a pretty cool thing. So basically, if you was watching a YouTube video, you can actually listen to your audio through this thing. You can use this as your sound card. You can go into your preferences on your your Mac. I don't know about PC, but you can go into your preferences on your Mac computer, and you can select this as your sound card output and input. So I like that. Now, with the Tractor Control S4, you cannot do that. It will not allow you to use it as a standalone sound card. Another, that's another cool thing about this. If you want to go live and do DJ mixes live, let's say you want to do live mixes and you got the live option on YouTube, you can actually use this as your sound card. So now on producers and DJs, I may I, I don't even know if you can go live and do that because they got a copyright thing. So let me shut up because that's something I think you cannot do. You cannot go live on YouTube and play music live. It would be nice if you could, but you can't. Uh, another DJ is asking me about um, how can you get better audio going live on Ustream, and uh, to me with the with this NS six, I can't really, really, I can't really say one hundred percent. But this thing is a sound core, so really you don't need nothing else to go live and have good quality audio. This is all you need is the NS six. You can use this as your sound core, and that's all you need to go live on any live uh, internet site. But if you another option would be to use a, a USB mixer, well, like this one here, like this Alesis, uh What is it? I don't forgot what the what the mixer's called. This Multi Mix Eight. You can use something like that. It's all right. 
but I don't, you know, it's, you can run your, you can use this as your sound card as well, but this is a sound card. So, to me, I don't think you need anything else. This is all you need. So, this has been my, uh, what I think about this, this uh, NS6, I think it's real nice. I didn't say anything about the fader, but the fader is really good. It's a real decent fader. I don't plan on putting an NL fader in here and killing this one, you know. And uh, the lines are pretty, pretty nice too. And that's pretty much it. That's all I got to say about this, man. But uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Make sure you subscribe for more product reviews. Hopefully I can do better reviews. Hopefully I can start getting some equipment and, you know, products free from these companies. That's what I'm working on now. I want to give a shout out to the real, to real DJ Blaze for giving me some insight on how to do that. Shout out to you, man. I appreciate that. I'll see you guys on the next video. DJK is out.